Hello, greatness. You are welcome and tuned into Heirs of God TV, perfecting saints to become like Christ. Stay tuned for another inspiring episode from your host. And now, let's welcome Dr. Vincent Alpong. Hello, mighty one, son of a king or daughter of a king. I want to go straight to this one just so we can um, capture some death in this. But again, I'll give you a quick recap about being positive. To be positive is to make sure that you are thinking positively, speaking positively, and doing positively. And the word positive here is not just positive, but we know and understand that we mean the mind of God or the mind of Christ. But you may say, how do I know the mind of Christ? Uh, By allowing the spirit that is within you to speak to you, right? Whatever you know that is right, whatever you know that is pure, whatever you know that is of good report, he said, think on these things. And one other way is to Tune your mental frequency to the wavelength of good. Right? Tuning your mental frequency to the wavelength of good. And as you do that, you will see that there is a way out. Everybody might be stuck and thinking there is no way out of this. This is how life and things are supposed to be. But for you, you will know that there is a way out. Now let's go to lesson number eight, a king's son. So try to realize that you are the equal, nay, the superior of any world prince. My goodness. He said, try to realize that you are the equal, no, no, not equal, the superior of any world prince, the son of the king of any world kingdom. For our father's kingdom includes his father's kingdom. My goodness. And if we could lift our minds to the consciousness of our true selves as sons of God. We would go about knowing that all that our father, the king, has is ours. And that all the father's servants will rush to supply to participate our very need. Hmm. This is actually the truth and it is so. For each one can experience it. But all you need is to believe it. And to go about in that consciousness, even as does the prince of any world kingdom in his lesser kingdom consciousness. My goodness. In our world right now, we have Prince Harry, who is always on the news. (laughs) Right? living life on his own terms. Why? Because he is conscious. But remember, his prince or his princeship or his kingdom is only of England. And the United States is way bigger in land size and everything than the UK. And yet, This man lives, or this young man, lives as though his 
kingdom is the whole world. This is to bring some perspective to you. So I want you to believe that it is true and you can experience it. You just have to be conscious about it. Then as a king's son, you must learn. Learning is a vital part as a king's son. And that is why we are going through these videos or these recordings. If you will learn, and if all that your father has is yours, to spend freely of the riches he has given you with absolute fearlessness, for there is no limit to them, no lack of wealth, for it is always available. These resources are inexhaustible. You must acquire this consciousness for the foundation of all expression is in consciousness you must feel even as does the other prince as i mentioned using prince harry as an example as other prince about spending or using money thank you kaba Think you that he has any fear of lack or limitation of supply? No, there is always plenty for his every need, for his every comfort, for every pleasure, for every constructive idea. For he knows that back of him is his father, the king. And all the resources of his kingdom. So must you learn to know that behind you is your father God. With all the resources of his kingdom. Which is the entire universe. And that brings us to the end of the king's son. The consciousness we are creating here. Is that all things are yours. All things are yours. So live abundantly. Live freely. Live knowing that. The God of the heavens. Is your father. And his abode. Is within you. With this consciousness. You can spend money. Fearlessly. Without fear or doubt. Or any sense of luck. Or limitation. God bless you, and I'll see you in the last chapter or verse or last lesson in the book, The Way Out. Again, the book, The Way Out, was formerly a part of The Way Beyond, so um, we might do The Way Beyond next um, as a way to piece all of them together. God richly bless you. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this let's create a network of people who are conscious of who they are as children of god a tribe a community where we press on knowing that the world is ours in jesus name i'll see you in how to use money fearlessly don't forget to be there bye bye You've been listening to Heirs of God TV, perfecting saints to become like Christ. Thanks for tuning in and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share and turn on the notification so you don't miss out on becoming all you were born to be.